Okay, Cherokee occupied Yadikin. And we are going to burn it. <clears throat> We're gonna move on up to the Tuscarora. Come on with the siege. Okay, good. Burn it. And uh, keep on moving. <laughs> the Spanish are now trying to reclaim the areas that were taken from them by the Iroquois. We've taken another province. We're going to burn it. This is going really well, you guys. <laughs> this is going really, really well. I'm getting a little bit giddy here. I know we're going to be really in debt when we get out of the war, but let's see. Yeah, we're not that that badly in debt, actually. Alright. Well, what are they going to do if we occupy all of Florida? Like, what, what can they really do? There's that one stack of 900 guys from Pacifico Norte that are just wandering around... Wandering around Louisiana, not really doing any good for anybody. I guess they're doing good for us, because they're distracting themselves with shit that doesn't matter. Alright. Let's go burn down the Roanoke colony. They'll never figure out what happens. They're not going to be... They're not going to be writing... Uh, oh shit, what was it they wrote on the tree at Roanoke? I always... I always... Uh, have brain farts when I'm streaming. Something with a C. Well, that, what they're gonna be writing is uh, Thonbolo because that is the name of their destruction in this timeline. How about uh, we stroll on up to the Chesapeake Bay here? Okay, so they're coming back. They're just trying to re-siege stuff I don't really care. Um, if they're going for our lands, we might have to turn around and face them. But let's see what their plan is. We can go up to speed three. Okay, so they're trying to initiate a battle here. This is a forest. I believe they're going to be crossing a river. Yes, they will be. So, let's move this guy up. Let's move this guy up. Let's go down to speed two and let's wait for them to lock in. Friendlies can attach. Friendlies can also attach to this stack now. So we're gonna wait for that lock icon. Come on. There we go. They are locked in. So we are now going to concentrate our forces here. I don't care if we abandon the siege. That's fine. This might be the last stand of the conquistadors, you guys. So they have a much better organized military than us, but we have great generals. We know the terrain. And we have better numbers than them. And they ran. Okay. Um, I'm so tempted to try to go stack wipe them. Let's see. Let's wait a day. Combine these. Split it in half. The half of you under our junior general, you can go work on Roanoke. This stack, let's go. Let's see if we can try to stack wipe them. So they're gonna try to flee to here, I'm pretty sure. There's nowhere else they can flee to. We've occupied it all. Where the hell are they going? Alright, well I guess we'll leave them to it. 
Oh, hey, we can upgrade our government rank because we've gotten so much prestige from battles. We are now a princedom. The nobles are still in control. Um, or a grand princedom, excuse me. It is also giving us plus 10 morale, so it's not all bad to have the nobles in command. Awesome. Anything else here? Still can't invest in trunnions yet. Oh man, I wanted trunnions! Bonus points if you, uh... Where the hell are they retreating to? Are they retreating all the way to Pacifico Norte? They can't retreat into our territory. I'm pretty sure. All right, we'll burn down the Roanoke colony. What else hasn't been burned yet? Pamilco hasn't been burned yet. Native raids. Uh, let's abandon the settlement. We can't. Uh, we can't afford to be fighting amongst our native selves right now. Where the hell are they retreating to? They must be retreating all the way to Pacifico Norte. That's pretty hilarious, if, if true. Oh, and look at our coalition. Look at them just wrecking face up here. Oh, man. There will be no Trail of Tears in this timeline. The Spanish are going to rue the day. They are going to rue the day that they came to the New World. Yeah, we'll renew the war taxes. Oh, this is so great. I seriously, I'm not I'm not kidding you. I sat down today and I was like, TJ, don't get too salty if you lose. We're here to tell an interesting story. Um, it's going to be tempting to want to, uh, you know, restart or something if, if we do poorly. But, you know, realistically, the Spanish probably in this scenario would have taken some land off us in the early wars. And there's always going to be time to get it back later. Um, and then it's like, nope, we're just, we're running train on them. Uh, we're, we're wrecking everything in sight. Burn, burn, burn. Yeah. Burn this. We are gonna go, uh, how about Delaware? Oh, here they come. They're coming back. They're taking attrition as they go. They should actually be taking fairly serious amounts of attrition. Okay, they're gonna try to they're gonna try to retake some provinces down here, I think. That's alright, as long as they're not taking our provinces. Okay, so we lost our colony in Arapaho. That's alright. We just need to get that back so we can seal off the Rockies. France isn't moving particularly quickly to lock that down at the moment. Okay. Well, hopefully we don't have to, like, go across the sea to convince the Spanish of the error of their ways. What hasn't been burned yet? Conoy has not been burned yet. Actually, this is about to fall, so we'll just hang out to burn that. Man, this is this is exciting times. Okay, they're gonna like fan out and try to carpet siege back all their shit. Um, we are taking some attrition, so I'm gonna split these stacks one more time. Just because we're not in like serious danger of being attacked right at this second. Alright. 
Florida occupied Muskogee, okay. Yeah, that's alright. You guys can continue to cause devastation to your own provinces. That that's actually not a not not a big issue for us. We're actually totally okay with that. Nobility loses ten loyalty. Nobility gains ten loyalty. Yeah, we want to keep the nobles fairly happy. Since they are in control of the government right now. Burn that, burn that. Move on over here. Yamasee has come under Floridian occupation. We need more men. We'll take the hit. Okay, Hitchy. Oh, yeah, see, they're, they're just taking stuff back at this point. Okay, so we're going to burn this down. Anywhere that needs a good burning. Move on up here. Okay, okay. Burn this down. This has already been burned. This has already been burned. Uh, what's what's next on the burn train? We'll burn this. We'll go burn this. Burn it. All right. We'll head on up here and burn this. Good job, you guys. Chickasaw occupied Lin Nape. Burn it. Burn it right on down to the ground. Floridians are retaking some of their land, but they are not taking our land. Okay, they've got one little stack here taking our land. So we are going to organize a counterattack. soon as we finish up here. So we're going to burn this, and then I want you... I want you to come around this way. We don't want them to see us necessarily. So I think we'll be protected by the Cherokee Fort if we do this. So you go this way, I want you to go this way, I want you to go to Kentucky. Okay, so that's done burning, and we are going to send you to Tennessee. Actually, we want to be a little more careful with this. Let's see what well, let, let's see what peace we could get from them right now. Um, they would not currently accept a white peace, despite the fact that we're running train over their entire civilization. Mission selected. Man, I really want to curtail the nobility. How many loans are we at now? And can we get trunnions? Trunnions keep getting further and further away because our institution <laughs> penalty is growing. Okay. Well, we're continuing. Our allies are continuing to occupy shit up here. That's all right. I'd rather have their help down this way, but... Um, really what we need most is we need to get Tuskegee back. And then we need to create a force concentration zone around Tuskegee. It looks something like that. Let's 
look at that devastation map mode again just because I like I like seeing what we've done. Yeah, all of Florida is pretty much devastated. Our capital is still prospering. Despite the fact that some adjacent areas are not. Okay. We are here. Let's put our junior commander. Okay, what are they trying to do here? He's moving into Kusa. Got a lot of hilly terrain here. So I'm actually, I'm gonna send you to do this. Because I have a feeling they're gonna try to attack us in Chickamauga. Go up to speed three, just so we can find out. Okay, that's their nefarious plan. Um, can we switch commanders? We can't currently switch commanders. So, let's detach a siege here. And let's... See, is this going to scare him away if we do this? It's not going to scare him away. Okay, so we'll wait for him to lock in. Comanche is no longer running out regiments to the Arapaho. Okay. Oh, they're going to Tuskegee now. Okay. That's better, because they're attacking our better general. Okay, he's locked into Tuskegee. So we're going to have the Battle of Tuskegee. Could potentially be the last battle of the war. We're not actually getting a terrain advantage because they're not attacking across a river and we're not in harsh terrain. So we maybe should have <laughs> should have allowed the uh, battle to take place somewhere else. That's all right though. So we're gonna split this in half. We're gonna split this in half again. And we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna go back on the hunt. Excellent. So we want everybody going to different provinces. <laughs> He's Pacific. Those poor Pacifico Norte guys. They're just losing troops to attrition. Yeah, we're going to have the entire eastern seaboard on lockdown here. Invalid letter of mark. Privateering is always a difficult diplomatic issue, especially when no open war is conducted. That the distinction between an enemy who must be subject to certain rules of war and a lawless pirate is not always clear-cut. Even less so in the case of recently captured vessel, which has displayed a letter of mark issued by a colonial governor with dubious authority. While this supposed privateer looks like a simple pirate to us, accepting the letter as valid may allow us to maintain better diplomacy with his masters. English West Indies will hate us or we lose 10 prestige and they like us. It's a flimsy excuse. If our guys, uh, if, if our government's signing letters that are saying that we can sink the white men's ships, uh, we'll stand by each of those letters. Yeah, they must be retreating all the way back to fucking Alaska every time. Oh, shit. Who's occupied? The Iroquois! <laughs> The Iroquois are up in Alaska! Wrecking face! Oh my god! Oh man! We built us a nice little confederation right here. You know that, guys. Um, let's see, we don't want to go... Ah, eh, we'll buy the next level. Early modern administration, why not? Oh man! Look at our prestige. Oh, oh, this is this is this is some good times, you guys. This is this is some good times. We're just letting the good times roll. It's not a good time if you're 
a Spaniard living on the east, eastern seaboard because the levels of devastation are getting truly scary. Um, yeah, man. Uh, we've also completely run out of our, our uh, manpower reserves. But that is all right. We will... Uh... See, is there anything that needs to be re-devastated? Have to see. Yamasi, do they need do they need another scorching? No. Oh, we have peasants. Floridian peasants. We will actually we will let them do their thing. Oh, they're back? Spanish are back. All right, we're gonna go. We're already on speed two. Um, let's see. We're we want to fight them somewhere where the terrain will be to our advantage, such as these woods or these woods. So let's do this. It's a little dangerous what we're doing here, but I should still be taking attrition. I don't, don't suppose they'd accept a white piece at this point. Really? Relative strength of alliances, length of war, and Spain holds Madrid. Okay, well. I would think they'd be given up by now, but apparently that is not the case. Okay, they're they're running away. Is there anywhere we won't get the river crossing penalty? All right, let's put our good general here. Put our bad general here. You guys switch places. We'll go kill these peasants. Actually, I want to do this. You know, try and siege down the Cherokee now or something? I don't know. Okay, French peasants have occupied, or Floridian peasants have occupied a bunch of shit. Hopefully they're going to fight the peasants. That would be ideal for us. Scorched, already scorched, already scorched. Oh, maybe they're they're doing this. Maybe they're trying to pull something like this. Well, this is woods, so we don't mind fighting here. All right, let's wait for them to lock in. I don't think we'll scare them away if we do this. Oh, we scared them away. So now they're going to come try to attack us here, which is a savanna. We don't want that, so we're going to fall back. We are going to fall back across the river. No way can they catch us. No way can they catch us from that angle. Are you serious, man? 16th of December. They're going to get out on the 16th of December. Literally the to the day. All right. Well, we got to fight without a terrain advantage. Oh. Fuck. Said there was going to be a battle. Oh, you fuckers. Alright, well, we're going to have a terrain penalty, but it's better than losing the battle. 
No, we actually don't have a dice roll penalty. All right, so it's going to be fairly even. We should still win. We're just going to take more losses than we should, because we should be using the terrain to our advantage. And it looks like they're going to stay for the for the long fight, so we might wear them down to the nub here. They're finally learning that they've got to <laughs> they've got to stand and fight at some point. 